Hello, everybody. This is Monty Mallon, and I am the host of a brand new podcast, YouTube show dedicated to the band Sparks. I'm so happy that you are joining me. The name of the show is Sparks Entertainment and Art, and I will in a moment explain why I chose that as a title. Uh, the, re the reason why has to do with a lot of thinking I've been doing about Sparks and their music and how it impacts people. That to me is a fascinating thing. There's a spectrum of people who listen to Sparks or who are aware of Sparks. I mean, there's there's one end of the spectrum of people who say, "Oh, I never heard of them," or "Oh, I can't stand them," and they don't they don't know anything about Sparks. Great, they're missing out. That's their choice. Um, but then you get people who are, "Oh, yeah, they they had that song about a, a town once, right? You know, kind of. Um, I don't know. Didn't they have some song about a town or something?" And then you have people, yeah, I listened to them in the 70s or the 80s when they were in L.A., or I listened to them in the 90s. But I haven't really kept up. Then you have people who have followed them their whole career and who, who kind of came aboard in the 2000s when they were doing this amazing brand new form of music. They kind of reinvented themselves, Sparks 2.0. And what's so interesting? Oh, and then you have uh, people who came aboard with the Edgar Wright movie from a year ago or so. And... What was so amazing about that is it brought on a whole new, uh, whole new uh, crowd, a whole new set of listeners to Sparks, and all these people coming at it from all these different perspectives have different views about Sparks and what they mean. That's the entertainment and art part. Some people see them, and first of all, let me be clear: there's no wrong here. But some people see them as, yeah, they write really great, catchy little songs. Some people see them as an artistic statement, you know, that is, that is, you know, way at that end of the spectrum, the other end of the spectrum where everything has been like this artistic project with many, many parts that's been taken play, that's been uh, playing out over almost 50 years and is always taking on new dimensions. And Ron and Russell, Ron and Russell Mayo, the leaders of Sparks, uh, kind of had it all planned, you know, at the beginning. This is where they wanted to go. This is, you know, this is where they wanted to, how they wanted their career to evolve. And they get very deep into every little song and talk about how it kind of fits into this larger paradigm. I mean, that's a pretty big spectrum, you know? So what does that tell us? Well, it tells us that people hear different things in the music, right? Some people, pure entertainment, some art, and everybody else, the 90, I'd say 100%, everybody thinks they're entertaining, right? So, but everybody has a different level of emphasis in how they listen to the band. For some people, it's that art, and some people, it's the, inter, you know, it's just the fun of the music, because they're always fun, or most of the time fun. Some people hear things in the lyrics that others don't. Um, and the entertainment and art is a phrase that was very carefully chosen because one of my very favorite Spark songs is on their Exotic Creatures of the Deep album from 2008 called Strange Animal, where they kind of go through the writing process and think about, uh, you know, and there's different ways that this has been interpreted, but there's a wonderful line in there. It's one of my all-time favorite Sparks lines. It's entertainment or art one should know from the start, meaning that this is what they've always heard throughout their career. Well, are you artists? Are you uh, entertainers? What are you? Um, and what I'm doing is changing that just a teeny bit to entertainment and art because I think one of the great things about them is how they have covered the whole spectrum. So that's what we're going to talk about on this show. And it's not going to be just me because that would be boring very, very quickly. Uh, we're going to have a lot of guests and a lot of fans and some people who have been dedicated and doing all kinds of hard work to pass along the message of Sparks. Some people would just like to listen and some people are new to Sparks and some people are old to Sparks. Maybe some band members will be kind enough to join me. Hint, hint, you know who you are. Um, but we're going to talk about all things Sparks. We're really going to explore what their music means. What does it mean to people? And maybe someday will even me, I will even write a book about this because I think it's fascinating how so many people hear so many different things in the music. But that's not all we're going to do. We're also going to have guests who will talk about all kinds of different things. But sometimes it'll be just me um, talking about an album or talking about something that I feel like talking about that is Sparks related or has some Sparks content. 
my good friend Christian Huey, who is the host of the All You Ever Think About Is Sparks podcast. And I uh, plan to use this as a vehicle to bring video uh, presentations of some of our conversations because we're talking to some really cool people. Um, so this will be a chance to share it in a different uh, venue in addition to his podcast. And let me just say two last things because this is just me and it's boring already. But one, um, I really want to caveat things and say, Sparks are not the only band with with rabid fans. Sparks are not the only band that people listen to and try and discern what they're getting at. But this is the community that I know, that I've been part of, that I find really, really fascinating. So that's why I want to explore it a little bit. Uh, and uh, I, it's not saying that other bands don't have loyal followers or anything like that. Just saying, I really want to focus on this one. Final point I want to make is... My friend Christian Huey, who I just referred to, has agreed to be the first guest on the show, and he will join me next time. And consistent with what I just laid out as the theme of the show, we are going to talk about why did you decide to start a podcast about Sparks? There is no other podcast about Sparks after all these years of uh, opportunities to do it. And he did it, which is so cool. And we're going to talk about what motivated him to do it and then talk a little bit about how he hears Sparks as a fan. I think that's a great way to start. He's been kind enough to uh, let me be on his show with him to talk about some of the albums. So um, the least I can do is bring him on. And I'll tell you, uh, this is, a, he's, he's great. I love him. So, all right. That's it. Let's not drag this out any further. Welcome to the show. I am glad to have you, and I hope you'll join me on this journey. And this is Monty signing out. Thanks for joining us.